Kelly Sparta again. Uh, today I want to talk to you about sitting in the soup of your emotions or of a question or of mm, waiting for a response from your guides, right? Just sitting in the soup. And I call it sitting in the soup because it is literally percolating in the concept, in the feeling, in the em emotion, right? And the thing about it is that when we feel emotions, we often try to run away from them. We talked in the last video about opening the heart. And one of the things about opening the heart is you start to feel your emotions. You hadn't been feeling them before you've been managing them with your mind. You think about your emotions rather than feeling them, right? So once you start to feel your emotions, you really need to get a grip on what to do with them. And the key is you cannot run from them because that is going to be stuffing them, which is the whole thing that armored up your heart in the first place, okay? So you have to learn how to sit in the soup of your emotions, which means you have to learn how to be with them, to experience them, to feel them, to let them flow through you. And the only emotions that this is not really healthy to do with are fear and depression um, because, uh, and, and anger, sorry, fear, fear, anger, and depression, because those will reinforce themselves. They'll just, they get into spin cycles, panic, things like that, right? But everything else, you should just sit and feel because it'll probably only last for eh, 30 seconds to a couple of minutes and then you'll be done. Right now, the exception to that is going to be things like grief and sadness, because, you know, sometimes those take a little longer if you've had a loss. But on average, you know, the average emotion isn't going to last that long. And as long as you don't like spin it up with stories, which I know we love to do. <laughs> but if you just let the emotion be the emotion instead of spinning it up with stories, then you can feel it and be done with it. And it's not nearly as overwhelming and scary as you think it is. Now, when it comes to a thought or, you know, you're asking for an answer, then sitting in the soup of it is literally about percolating, you know, letting it run in the background of your mind, letting it run in your beingness and just being with the question. It's like, I want to change my life in X way, right? So, you know, I want to do whatever, right? Pick, pick something, right? And then you go, okay, I want to do this. And I'm actively looking to do something about it, but I'm not sure what it is I need to do. I'm just going to stick it in the back of my head and I'm going to let it percolate. And I'm going to expect that the answer is going to come to me. And then you're going to pay attention, not only to the thoughts in your mind, but to the things in the world around you, because we all live in the waking dream of the world. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there is an episode in the podcast called The Waking Dream. So you can go back and find that. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then it's also on the YouTube channel. So just do a search. Uh, it's called The Waking Dream. And uh, the waking dream around us is going to reflect to us the same answers that thoughts in our head will. So pay attention to what shows up around you because that will often be something that will answer your question as well. So that's what I mean by sitting in the soup. Okay. And when we do this, so the other, I want to talk about the thought, the, the question and looking for an answer thing. We, because we're in this constant state of of overdrive, of panic, of emergency mode, uh, we often try and jump to the quickest solution. And we're like, bang, done, implement, right? It's like ready, fire, aim, right? Which back in the day, I used to read business books all the time. And, and oh my God, the business books that said, oh yeah, do the ready, fire, aim met method. That's great for somebody who makes reasonable decisions. <laughs> but for somebody like me, I was constantly going, bing, 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 bing. And I was like changing every three seconds. And, you know, I say that like it's in the past. I just had this conversation with my assistant who's like, uh, can we pick a direction? And I'm like, yes, I noticed I was doing that. <laughs> I've stopped and I pulled back. We're doing this one thing. And she's like, okay, good. I'm like, if you see me do it again, whack me. <laughs> just like, okay. So, you know, these are things that we do and we know this about ourselves, right? But this is the piece that you want to pay attention to is when you give yourself space to sit in the soup, when you're not trying to make an emergency decision yesterday, right? Then you have the ability to allow your 
body, your mind, your spirit, your guides to inform the decisions. And so, you know, when something shows up that is the right thing to do, then it goes woof and you're like, yes, right? And that's where you go with it, okay? So uh, that's what I have for you for this week, uh, or this, this time, not this week. We've got three episodes in a week now, way. So woohoo. So like, subscribe, and rate. And if you're interested in joining the Inner Peace 101 program and getting some of this stuff under control so that you're not constantly feeling afraid and anxious and worried and self-doubting and, you know, the monkey mind isn't screaming at you and you're not judging yourself and everybody else all the time, then I would love to talk to you. Uh, and in the show notes uh, at the bottom here, there will be a uh, sign up for a discovery call link. And by all means, please do that. I'd love to talk to you about the program. And I would love to hear your feedback. So uh, please let me know if you have any other questions. I'm going to be doing a lot of these. So if you've got some ideas for more episodes too, I am happy to hear those as well. Put them in the comments section below. Okay. See you next time.